oh my god you guys i'm still sick okay but the tea okay let me just go ahead and situate this here the tea is that i got a package in from makeup revolution and i feel like there's another dupe i feel like tatcha silk canvas got duped all over again so whenever the touch of silk canvas came out it was like big news okay and then elf came out with the primer potty i have it right here so it's called the poreless potty primer okay i got a package in from makeup revolution and it says pore perfecting primer immediately upon seeing it i thought i thought this is another dupe of touch of silk canvas or it could be well, yeah, it's another dupe of silk canvas. L let's just call it what it is, okay? So I want to go ahead and use it for you guys so we can see what it's all about. I am going to see how it makes my base look, like, throughout the application. And then I'm going to see how long it makes my base last. So that's the tea for today. Let's go ahead and jump into the skin routine, okay? Okay, you guys, so this is what it is. It says Makeup Revolution Pore Perfecting Primer. Central to the franchise is our all new hero, Conceal and Fix Pore Perfecting Primer with a putty balm consistency to help to create the appearance of smooth skin canvas. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and prime my skin. When you open the lid, your spatula is like attached to the top of your lid. So here it is. You can go ahead and take that out and use it to scoop. I'm probably going to lose a spatula somewhere along the line. So I'll just start using my fingers like I do with every other primer. And, you know, let's go ahead and blend this in. I'm worried about this. <laughs> First impressions, I'm worried about it. Not because of the shade, because I know it's going to get covered up. I'm worried about the, um, oh, well, let me see. I, I feel like it's flimsy, for lack of a better word. I, I, I don't know how else to explain it. Um, but I'm definitely not worried about the, uh, I'm definitely not worried about the, the color of the primer because a universally, whatever shade means that it's gonna make your face white and then you can put whatever shade you want on it. That's how it's, that's how they describe it. Okay, make sure I get under my eyes because I don't want it to be that my under eye creases and I'm like, this sucks because I didn't get any over there. If I'm gonna say it's good or bad, I wanna make sure I get every part of my face that I feel gets creased up quickly. Okay guys, I look like a zombie and that's okay. The apocalypse is not coming anytime soon, so let's just go ahead and apply some foundation on top of this because uh, it's moving a lot, and that's what I'm worried about. Like, it, it's, it moves a lot, and that's like has me worried. So I feel like it should have stayed in place. Like, the Tatcha gives a little bit drag, like, it applies nicely, but when you touch it, it like it's, it has a tiny bit of resistance to it. So, the way my skin has been behaving lately, I'm gonna go in with a deeper shade foundation a lot of you are gonna say oh my god that's too dark but i'm gonna go in with this foundation okay so i applied my foundation i'm gonna blend it with the back side of the sponge yeah it's definitely softer than the first one that was released it blends very very nicely okay you guys so this is what we got with the poreless potty and now i am using the born this way concealer and this is the shade coco i'm gonna blend with the rounded side of the sponge the sponge is so soft oh my god and just in case you haven't seen my previous video this is the colored rain sponge okay so i'm gonna set my face with my benign nut nutmeg with benign nutmeg powder and i'm using the flat side of the sponge i have been loving the sephora pro palette a lot like since i opened it it's all i've been using i am taking my juno and co brush sets that i showed you in my previous video and i'm taking this shade i'm gonna use that to <coughs> contour slash bronze my face because i like what it does 
So yeah, so yeah, it's an hour after I did my skin routine and this is what my face is looking like. It doesn't look bad. So I'm gonna go and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye. I said we were testing this out and we are testing it out, okay? I ended up um, like being so busy that I literally forgot this on my face um, and it is now 10 o'clock. So I want to say it's 11 hours, no, 12 hours since I put this on, okay? And this is, this is what my face looks like. I didn't want to blot it because I wasn't checking to see if it was oil controlling or not. I just wanted to see if it was going to keep my makeup in place, okay? I have a few spots of missing makeup because I did put my hand like like this. I scratched my face in certain places. But, like, my under eyes are intact. You can see, like, my under eye foundation is intact. Right here, right here, and on my nose. It's not broken up at all. I do see the oils in on my face but it's not broken up my brows are in my brows are still here my smile lines are not visible and the the cracks like you know usually you see lines where i smile smile lines are not there like it's barely i don't know if i haven't been smiling today but like it, it's barely barely noticeable except when i did this just now you can see it. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm I smiled at some point. Of course, I did eat, so my lips are completely gone. <clears throat> I, I look crazy. I, I admit, I'm very, very oily right now. So I'm going to use my sponge and just blot it away. I'm actually about to go to the movie, so I'm going to have to, I'm going to keep this on for another two, two and a half hours. I just wanted to come in and show you guys what my face looks like because by the time I come back, I'm going to be too tired and all I'm going to want to do is just peel this wig off and wash my face and go back to, and go to bed, okay? So, yeah, that's why I wanted to show you guys what my face is looking like now before I leave. So I'm going to blot it and I'm essentially going to reset my face, um, you know, just so, just so we can see how, you know, my face looks essentially okay i'm putting lotion because remember what i said no more ashy hands on my channel like i'm done with that okay i don't live like that anymore okay so let's see what my face actually looks like once i blot everything or all the oils off my face keep in mind it's 12 hours since i had this makeup on i haven't blotted not once I mean, part of my brow is missing, but it still looks pretty good. Okay, so this is what my face looks like with just the blotting. It's not bad. I am going to use some powder on my face. You know, just to reset everything. My face, my makeup does look like it's broken down though. It doesn't look as fresh. Like you can see, I feel like you can see that it's broken down in some places. Um, especially after I wiped it off. It looks, of course the makeup is still on my skin, but let's see if I can revive this. I'm just using my setting powder all over my face again. I feel like my blush is gone. My contour has disappeared. Yeah, my I think my, my makeup definitely did break down. Um, for the price of the product, which is $12, I don't think it's a bad buy, especially if you're not going to be wearing your makeup for 12 hours. I didn't intend on wearing my makeup for 12 hours. Like, that was not what was supposed to happen. It was supposed to be a few hours and I was supposed to be done with it. But I ended up, like, losing track of time and... You know being busy and that's why I ended up with 12 hours but if you don't have to wear it for 12 hours your makeup will look fantastic um, especially if you're able to blot your face throughout your day because I my the fact that I'm having to reapply my blush and my contour just tells me that my makeup completely broke down 
and you know like you couldn't even see the blush and the bronzer on my face or the contour on my face but it still looked good it didn't crease it, it didn't crease or crack so that was not a bad thing my highlighter disappeared too okay so <clears throat> so this one looks like after i essentially revamped it um still you know I, I, I just have to apply some powder to it. For $12, I don't think that the Makeup Revolution Pore Perfecting Primer is a bad buy. It will keep your makeup in place for a while. The thing is that don't, you know, not, don't not blot your face for 12 hours like I did. Like, make sure you blot your face throughout the night, like every two hours, every four hours, use a blotting powder or blotting paper. Don't use anything that will add more product to your face and make you look cakey. And if possible, take a damp beauty sponge with you so you can use that to absorb your oils instead of applying more product on your face, okay? They'll believe that this is a dupe for the Tatcha Silk Canvas, period. It's also another dupe just like the e.l.f. Poreless Putty is affordable versions okay yeah affordable versions okay and a little tmi the mystery of my acne my breakout has been solved it is pms people like i thought it was because i wasn't paying attention to my skin and all of that but then i started you know doing my regular routine and some would go away and more will come up it's all pms in a week or two they're gonna be gone hopefully because i can't I, I don't know how else to get rid of them i'm just gonna let them do their thing okay so yeah, I give up, I give up, I give up, okay? So that's it for my review of the Makeup Revolution, the Makeup Revolution Pore Perfecting Primer. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.